The pandemic disrupted and changed so many things in our lives, including the education of Colorado's children. A new report shows the performance in the classroom is looking more like it did in 2019. Well, many students, though, are continuing to struggle, and the learning gap is growing for some particular groups. And 9 News reporter Kelly Ranke walks us through the highs and lows of these results. Yeah, Kelly? hey there, guys. Colorado's Department of Education looked at results from tests this past spring. Those state assessments show slightly better results in many grades and subjects since last year, but scores show students are rebounding more consistently in math and in English. Boys are gaining some ground on girls. In some grades, they scored better in math and English on the CMAS than in 2019. In comparison, fewer girls met or exceeded expectations this year than in 2019. The gap between boys and girls is getting smaller because girls are not performing as well. And so we're going to have to really make sure that we're paying attention to what's going on with young women in the state. The state's Department of Education is seeing scores get back to pre-pandemic levels, but gaps between different groups are still there post-COVID. This affects students of color, students with disabilities, low-income households. The state is seeing the largest gaps, though, with English learners. And so that's going to be an area of intensive focus because we know that in the absence of doing that, these are students who are very capable and are not going to be ready for the next grade. They're not going to be ready for a career. They're not going to be ready for uh, post-secondary um, studies in college. This is the second year Colorado has done its state assessment after they were canceled in 2020 and modified in 2021. Overall, growth looks more like 2019, but again, levels haven't completely rebounded. Yeah, a little bit of good news, but you definitely see room for improvement and interesting when you see different groups and, and what we need to work on. Yeah, and having this sort of assessment, it allows the Department of Education to get that view statewide and really see what's working, what's not working, how can we help schools improve. But they are definitely giving an applaud to educators for working so hard to try to get some of those numbers yeah. up. And we need more teachers. Yep. All right.